Hi happy home groomers, it's Melanie Newman here and we have the amazing Yuki the Yorkie with us today. He is a Yorkshire Terrier and in today's grooming session we are going to brush out all his little legs and his little face before we bath him. The equipment we are going to use in today's grooming session is we have our double sided flexi slicker and we will mostly use the softer side today and we also have our metal 18 centimeter comb as well. We are going to use our dematter because he has a few little matted areas on his back legs and this will work great to actually split them up and then go through with our slicker. We are also going to use the everyday coat conditioning spray which is perfect for a Yorkie's coat. Before we begin, it's important that our dog feels nice and secure and safe. Yuki is amazing and he's pretty well conditioned to the grooming process, but what we've done is we've popped a non-slip mat underneath him so he's not going to slide around everywhere. The brushing technique we are going to use on Yuki is called line brushing. So what that means is, is that we're going to start at his foot and work our way up into sections. So once we've brushed out his foot, we can move to another section. And once we've brushed out that area, and then we move to another section. So what this actually does is it ensures that we're not missing any knots and tangles as we're working through his beautiful coat. I am just going to gently pick up his back leg and I like to support his knee joint as I'm picking up that leg. And I also like to bring up the coat that I don't want to brush. So anything that's not sitting on his foot, I'm going to bring up into my hand. It's important when we pick up their back leg that we're just gently picking it up and supporting that knee joint. So I'm not making him feel uncomfortable and insecure and picking that leg up over his back. It's just nice and steady and he feels nice and secure and he's not in any pain or any discomfort. Before we begin, I'm going to spray the everyday coat conditioning spray into the area that we are going to brush out. So this will help detangle those little knots and help remove those little knots as well. We are going to start with our slicker and we are going to start with the softer side first. So not the firm side, the soft side. And we are just going to start with his foot. So just gently brushing downwards and he has a drop coat. So what that means is the hair actually grows downwards and it falls downwards as well. So this is the way we are going to brush this coat. So once I feel that there's no more knots when we're using the slicker, we can go in with our comb and just cross check to make sure we've removed all those knots. Once we've finished brushing this section, now we're going to grab another section and brush that section out. So that's a part of our line brushing. So I'm going to just give another little bit of a spritz to the area with the everyday coat conditioning spray and then just gently pick that leg up and gently brush downwards. He has a few little knots and tangles just in these parts, which I'm certain we'll be able to remove with our slicker. So I'm just going to spray those areas with the coat conditioning spray and then just gently work through that area with our slicker. It's all right, buddy. Good boy. And just small parts at a time removing it one by one. And then we're going to cross check with our comb, making sure, oh, there's one, making sure we've removed all those knots and tangles. 
as you can see, he has small little clumps of matting. And instead of running our slicker all through that area, we are just going to do one knot at a time. So working through one section at a time. We are going to work through this mat first. So removing all the other hair. So we've just got that little knot poking out and I'm going to give it a spray with our co-conditioning spray. And instead of using our slicker, I'm going to pick up our dematting tool and I'm going to then hold the base of the mat and then just tease out that knot with the dematter. And this just will help split that mat up and make it a lot easier to remove with our slicker. And once we've broken up that knot with our dematting tool, just give another little spritz and then run our slicker through that area. If you find you haven't split up that knot enough, you can then run back through with that dematting tool. It is a process, so it's not something that can quickly be done. So if your dog is feeling a little bit anxious and doesn't like the knots being removed, you might wanna just do small sections at a time. So don't rush your dog either. Yuki's amazing, so he's a very good boy. Then cross check with our comb and we've completely removed that mat with minimal damage to the coat. As we brush underneath Yuki's little armpit, it's important that we don't lift his leg higher than his body. So we want him to be super comfortable as we're grooming him. So I'm just gonna spray a little co-conditioning spray in there and I'm moving his arm out forward and then just gently brushing out his armpits. And we are going to continue this process on each leg and then move onto his body. When we brush Yuki's tail, it's important that we remove all those knots and tangles. And it's important that we brush with the direction of the coat lay. So we wouldn't brush upwards, we would always brush down. So we are going to, again, like his legs, brush section at a time. So I'm going to get our spray and gently spray that area and then just do one section at a time and always brushing downwards. And once we feel like that we've removed all the knots from that area, cross check it with our comb and then move on to the next section. I have completely brushed him out. So he has no more knots and tangles in his legs whatsoever. And I can run this whole comb through his whole body with ease. The only place we have left is his sweet little head. So I prefer to hold the hair underneath their chin area. So I can feel if he's going to move away suddenly and then I can let go. When we spray our co-conditioning spray on our dog's little head, it's important to face their head downwards and spray from the top. Once we have sprayed our dog's head with the co-conditioning spray, I just like to use a corner of our slicker. So we don't need to use a whole slicker, just the corner and just gently brush downwards and then just continue that process through the rest of your dog's head, going with the direction of the dog's coat growth. Once we have gone through the area that we're brushing with our slicker, then we are going to gently go through with our comb. And I'm using the fine tooth end of the comb and just gently going through section at a time. Mm -hmm. 
The area that tends to get a lot of knots is behind the ears. So what we like to do is pull that ear forward and hold that ear with our thumb. Pop a little bit of detangling spray in and then just gently brush downwards with that slicker. If your dog does have any matting behind that ear, you can use your dematting tool and use the same technique as we did earlier with the leg. You can use that technique on that ear, but very, very gentle. And then there seems to be no knots, so we're just going to cross check with our comb. I have used a slicker brush on Yuki today. If you have a Yorkie that is in full coat or you're trying to grow your Yorkie out into full coat, a good brush to use is a pin brush. So a pin brush is designed to minimize breakage. And another good tip is to grab your coat conditioning spray and spray the pins of your brush and brush that through your dog's coat. So not only will it make your dog's coat shine because it's adding hydration to your dog's coat, it will also help your dog's coat lay nice and flat. Yuki is all brushed out and he is completely not free. So he's ready for the bath. If you guys have any questions, pop them in the comments below and Yuki and I will get back to you. And please like and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, happy home grooming.